Hello. I recently purchased um, several one ounce rounds from a reputable uh, dealer. And what we're looking at here are two Augustus Caesar rounds that I picked up with that order. The one on the left, I want to demonstrate how it acts when you put a magnet on it and roll it around. Of course, this is one way you can check your silver. It uh, reacts with the magnet so that it uh, creates counter currents and kind of slides slowly around. And in this case, you can pretty much control it. It goes so slow, you can control it just by pulling it around. This is one of the ways I test my silver. Whenever I buy silver, I always put it through just a few per cursory tests. Now, this one tests out just fine. There were no snags that seemed to move around the uh, circumference of the coin just fine. Uh, if we go to this coin, we can roll it around the, uh, the front of the coin here. And little snags every once in a while where it hits uh, lettering or maybe a high spot, that sort of thing. But for the most part, it uh, moves around very nicely. However, when I got to the obverse of the coin, I ran into a little bit of an issue. And that is, we should be able to see that pretty readily as it rolls around. You'll see that it hits a spot here where the magnet seems to stick. You can see I can hold the coin upside down and that magnet just sticks in place. Now if I break it loose from that point, I can keep going right on around and it seems to do just fine. So I think what the problem here is there's a uh, contamination in their process. As you can see, this is marked 0.99 fine. However, if it was 0.99 fine, there should not be enough iron in there or any kind of magnetic material that would cause this magnet to grab on like this. And I'll bring that up close so you can see I've, I've not done anything to the surface. It's absolutely pristine. It looks great. The coin looks fine, but Obviously, when we go to test it, we hit that spot, and that magnet grabs. So, what we've got here is a contaminated silver. I'll be contacting my dealer. I'm not going to say who they are. I'm sure they'll make good on this. This should not be an issue, because they should be able to replicate this once they get this coin back. They should be able to replicate this issue quite readily and see that this silver has been contaminated by some kind of ferrous material. Um... I'll go ahead and tell you who, who mints the coin, because you can look that up on the internet and find that information for yourself. This is uh, the Caesar Augustus coin. It's made by uh, Phoenix Certified Bullion, and they're generally reputable. I bought, you know, several of these rounds, and this is the first time I've run into an issue like this. So, just wanted to share that. Uh, kind of an interesting uh, phenomenon that I haven't run across before. Uh, you always want to check your silver through various means. This magnet test is just one of those that you can use to verify that uh, your silver is of uh, the correct purity. Thanks for your time.